The story of Benjamin Franklin flying a kite during a thunderstorm to explore electricity is well known, but how much of it is actually true? In this video, we'll take a look at the details of the famous experiment and the real story behind Franklin's groundbreaking work with electricity. In June 1752, Benjamin Franklin and his son William conducted an experiment that would become iconic. Franklin wasn't the first to suspect that lightning was a form of electricity, but he was the first to propose a practical experiment to prove it. Rewind a little bit, and in 1750, Franklin suggested placing a wooden sentry box with a metal rod on a hill or a steeple. He predicted that if a person inside of the box held a wire touching the rod during a storm, they would see sparks when lightning struck. Although French scientists tested and confirmed this idea in May of 1752, Franklin was unaware of this and decided to try a different approach with a kite. So on a stormy day in June of 1752, Franklin and his son flew a kite made of silk with a metal wire attached to its top. To the end of the kite string, Franklin tied a metal key. As they flew the kite into the stormy sky, the wet string conducted electricity from the storm clouds. When Franklin brought his knuckles near the key, he felt a spark, demonstrating that the clouds were electrically charged. Franklin then used a Leiden jar, an early form of a capacitor, to collect the electrical charge from the key. This confirmed his theory that lightning was indeed a form of electricity. And it's important here to note that the sparks that Franklin felt were from the ambient electrical charge in the air and not from a direct lightning strike. This is the part that most people don't realize. A direct lightning strike would likely have been fatal, as evidenced by the death of a Russian man who attempted a similar experiment later in the year. Franklin's experiments quickly earned him great acclaim in the scientific community. He introduced many of the terms that we still use today, such as battery, conductor, charge, and discharge. His invention of the lightning rod, designed to protect buildings from lightning strikes by providing a path for the electrical charge to travel safely to the ground, was one of his most significant contributions. And that's a brief history of Benjamin Franklin and his famous electric kite experiment. If you learned something new and you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel for more quick history lessons. And as always, stay curious and we'll see you next time.